I finally got around to install this into my Legion 5. I got a 32 gig kit of Kingston HyperX Impact at 275 US dollars. It's two sticks of 16 GB dual rank RAM. The kit runs at CL20 timing on JEDEC profile and therefore works in any laptop regardless of XMP support. There's a link in the description below. I ordered this kit as it was the only one I found in Norway with two ranks of memory modules per stick. Uh, initially, with the information I had, I thought uh, dual rank was the reason for the performance increase people talked about. Uh, but after Jared Tech uh, investigated into the performance bottleneck of the Legion 5 Pro, it's obvious that the bottleneck stems from the slow secondary timings of the stock RAM. Uh, and the increase in performance comes from the better timings of the new sticks. That means you can get away with upgrading to a different 16 gig kit of quality single rank RAM sticks at CL22 timing. I do however recommend the HyperX Impact Kit in either 16 or 32 configuration as it provides a little tighter timings at CL20 and it's guaranteed to work for Ryzen laptops. Now over to benchmarks. Shadow of the Tomb Raider was tested with the game's built-in benchmark. With the new memory kit installed, the performance is now on par and even a little better than other 115 watt RTX 3070 laptops with an increase of 13%. The bench now shows less CPU bottlenecking using more GPU power. Warzone was tested with the Airstrip speedrun, and here the new kit provides around 10% increase in both 1% lows and average FPS. We can also see GPU utilization increase as the CPU bottleneck is decreased. Cyberpunk was tested in Little China with ray tracing set to Ultra and DLSS set on quality. Also here we get a nice 10% boost to both 1% lows and average FPS when the GPU usage is increased. All in all the gaming performance is now between 10-13% to better with less frame drops. Digging deeper into the timings with Zen timings, we see that the problem the Legion 5 has is slow secondary timings of the stock Samsung RAM sticks. Especially the TRFC timings are way slow, and this timing especially affects Ryzen CPUs. Unfortunately, both the normal Legion 5 and the Legion 5 Pro use this exact same RAM, and the only way to remove the bottleneck is by upgrading. Running ADA64 memory benchmark shows the improvement in both latency and most of all read and write throughput. Interestingly, the new memory seems to affect the CPU's L3 cache speed in a big way, increasing read and write speeds within the CPU massively. So, should you upgrade? Well, that depends on your usage. At stock, the laptop delivers good performance and in most cases it won't matter that much except for really CPU intensive gaming. But if you are the kind of person that wants your machine to perform at its full potential, RAM upgrade is the only way to go. You can get this benefit cheaper than I did by going for 16 gig single rank memory modules instead. But make sure you get a kit that runs at the advertised speed without XMP profile.